Oh, and asthma. Oh, so, no, I don't think it's that. It just sounded a wee bit rough in your throat. I don't think it's to do right. with your lungs. See, you've got to remember, McClue's an expert on all that. Well, that's true. So I again, can tell you all about your alveoli. What, what, what is that word, alveoli? Explain that word. Your alveoli. alveoli. Well, I'll tell you. You see, what you've got, your lungs themselves are quite elasticated and right. quite pink, but... They can't actually hold the air in, you know, because well, what happens is your ribs swing out because they've got yeah. belts of muscle through your ribs called intercostals. Right, so, that's really cool. Carry on. Inter on right, well, I'll just tell you this wee bit, but tell me if you get fed up. So these are your intercostals, and they fly your ribs up. It's called rib swing, and they fly All up right. your ribs. Uh, like an old-fashioned right. bellows, David, that they used to do the fire with. Right. Yes. Wow. Right. Yes. Scottish so you imagine that. <laughs> so you suck the air in. Now, in your lungs, if you can imagine a tree with no leaves. Right. Turn it upside down, and the trunk yes. becomes your trachea, your windpipe. Uh, the trachea, my trachea is quite, I was told it's quite bad. Your trachea and then your windpipe, that's your windpipe, and then it goes out into your yes. two lungs. Now, it keeps on yeah. going. All the branches are little air yeah. sacs called alveoli. Right, I, I get, Scott, I'm, I'm, I've got a breathing machine. I've got a, a breathing machine. You've, you've got a nebulizer. Yes, that's a one, yes. An nebulizer, yes. 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 Because your COPD, your alveoli have lost a little bit of their elasticity. Oh, yes, Scotty. Yes. I get bad days and good days. Absolutely. I'm okay. I'm okay. Of course you're you right, are. I mean, you're you know. wonderful. Yes. You're not oh, just okay, you're fantastic. Do you know what, do you know what, do you know what I would say about you? Can you explain all that? Just have a like, oh, well, plus, you could have been a doctor as well, you know, okay? <laughs> it's that lovely. But I, 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 it's just to let you know what's going on. Sometimes the doctors yes. don't tell you all that, you know. No, they won't exactly, Scott. And you see, David, I mean, you've got two ways of breathing. Now, don't worry too much because what they can probably do is show you another way of breathing. So if yes. you've got... Shallow breathing is called clavicular because you're breathing yes. like this, David. I don't know if you see me, but you breathe shallow because you're breathing by your clavicle. You're, you know, somebody uh, fractures their clavicle. They're 